Hi, I'm Jake Smith, and I'm going to read my final insight essay for Writing 101, uh, the Zero Harris class. All right. Title is, Writing 101 Essays Need Outlines First. Upon reading and rereading my essays that I have written this fall semester in Writing 101, I have noticed great change in my writing style. Originally, my essays were just an elaboration on thoughts or ideas I had in my head and wanted to write about. While the main point was evident in my writing, the structures of the sentences and paragraphs, as well as the use of examples, were erratic and confusing. Towards the end of class, my essays have had greater organization and structure. Uh, there's a clear evolution in my essays from the beginning of the class to the end. Let's begin with my Life Colors essay. The title, Another Day in Paradise, isn't anywhere in my entire essay. It doesn't really mesh with the content of the essay either. It was more of an attempt to find humor in the fact that I was nowhere near paradise at the time my story took place. The introduction of the essay has a thesis and gets my main point across, um, but it isn't interesting and there is no clincher. Uh, there's nothing that makes the readers want to read my essay. The body paragraphs of the essay are different sizes and there isn't any rhyme or reason as to how I separated them. Uh, the story of my incident in Afghanistan is well told, well told from my point of view, uh, but it needed to be put in paragraphs that are equal in size and maintain a nice flow. The spelling and grammars were few if there are any, but that's only thanks to Microsoft Word 2007. And uh, there weren't any graphics despite the hundreds of pictures I have on my computer from my deployment. All in all, I would have to say that based on the structure alone, if someone were to look at my Life Colors essay in a professional atmosphere, they would think that I was nuts. The structure is absent and the story is written in the style of an incident report similar to what law enforcement officers write. My literacy narrative uh, holds many of the same traits as my Life Colors essay. It's basically me sitting down and writing about my literacy experience from my childhood without any forethought or outline. The introduction is much better. I start off by talking about how I like books because of their many uses, like holding a door open. The reader would only be slightly more interested in reading my literacy narrative as opposed to my Life Colors essay, but that's not saying much. Just as in my Life Colors essay, the structure is almost non-existent, and it seems as if I just sat down and wrote out some thoughts and a story from my childhood without even really thinking about it. Uh, the spelling and grammar is good. I didn't notice any mistakes, uh, but that's thanks again to Microsoft Word 2007. Again, there were no graphics, because I was still trying to figure that out at that time, and in the professional world, the narrative would be interesting and funny. The structure would just make it seem as if I sat down with a bottle of whiskey and started telling stories of my childhood literacy. Uh, there's a slight improvement from my Life Colors essay, but not much. My short article essay was done really well. And that may be because I have very detailed notes that I used uh, from my time in Raven School, or it could have been that I sat down and actually wrote out an outline to follow this time. The technological, practical, and real story information that I provided was very interesting. Uh, I think that my introduction to the essay really grabbed a hold of the reader, especially since unmanned air vehicles aren't um, frequently talked about. I used a lot of step-by-step -step descriptions of Raven flying missions from start to finish. And I used uh, very interesting personal stories from my use of unmanned air vehicles while I was in Afghanistan. The structure was excellent thanks to my outline, and the flow of the essay was smooth and intelligent. Uh, I believe that in the professional world, my essay would be fantastic. It's very broken down for those who have never heard of the Raven unmanned air vehicle and its uses. Um, I believe that the improvement uh, of my essay as opposed to the Life Colors essay and the literacy narrative is due to the fact that I've trained soldiers how to operate the Raven while deployed. My argument essay is very different. <laughs> the title is harsh, Proposition 105 should die a gruesome death, uh, but there's no confusion as to what my argument was going to be. The introduction lays out a good hypothetical situation that relates to the proposition of which I'm a critic. The structure is decent, but definitely not as good as my short article. The structure of the essay and the style in which I wrote it in is more of a political rant, which I'm famous for amongst my friends. I wrote the essay as if, um, 
I wrote the essay as if I had given my argument in a speech prior to its documentation. There are quite a few grammatical errors, namely comma usage. Uh, I believe that's due to the awkwardness of my sentence structure and, and flow. In the professional world, the point of the essay would have been very clear, but it looked like I was venting as opposed to trying to prove an actual point based on facts. Uh, my scholarship essay was done very well. All the elements that needed improvement, such as structure and punctuation, drastically improved. There were only a few errors where I had just scanned right over some misplaced words, but all in all, it was well done. Uh, the introduction was touching and very interesting. The, the reader couldn't help but want to read my story. It was very passionate and inspirational. The organization was clear and made it easy for the reader to follow along and appreciate the flow. The essay was basically a, a very well thought out explanation of my life lessons and uh, intense desire to get a college education. My great examples, or my great example, many great examples are given throughout the entire essay. Uh, I used a lot of description and similes to make sure that the different types of personalities that may read my essay would understand where I was coming from and be interested. Professionally, the essay was read by three people who have experience in reading essays for, for uh, professional and educational purposes. Of the three, two would have given me the scholarship money. Uh, the one person who didn't give me the scholarship money provided excellent advice on three topics uh, that I needed to include in order to change your mind. And I plan on making those changes and using my essay to try and get scholarship money in the future. <clears throat> the drastic improvement of my ability to write essays is due to the practice of writing essays for class. It is obvious when reading over my essays from the first to the last that I improved my writing skills over the last four months. The gold sheet, the online quizzes, and the short lessons in class all have been a factor in my improvement. The one thing that I would have liked to have gone over more, especially in the beginning stages of the class, is creating outlines and following a defined pattern for the different types of essays. As a whole, I would say that the Hybrid Writing 101 class was very informative and essential to the improvement of my writing skills. And that's it. Bye.